Welcome to My Counselor Online. I'm Cassie and this is My Counselor Says. My Counselor Says is where you submit a question either for yourself or for a friend and one of our incredible therapists takes their time and answers your personal question. If you want to submit a question, you can do so using our webpage and then look for the answer in an upcoming edition of our weekly e-newsletter. So let's go find out what my counselor says. Welcome to My Counselor Online. I'm Josh Spurlock and this is Asking for a Friend. In today's video, we're going to be answering Matt's question. And Matt wants to know if a wife is more prone to cheat if she enjoys the attention of other men. Well, Matt, to answer that, I'd say that it is normal for us to uh, notice and enjoy and appreciate the affirmation of the opposite sex, whether that's from our spouse or from others. And so the fact that a person would uh, notice uh, the attention, notice the affirmation that they might receive from a person of the opposite sex is a pretty normal human experience then. What's actually more concerning or dangerous is uh, whether or not we acknowledge that reality. That if we are able to acknowledge that we notice that attention and that it feels good, it allows us to also uh, put boundaries in place in a way that helps protect our heart and protect our relationship from that developing into something that could be destructive for us, destructive for our relationship. That if we're not able to acknowledge to ourselves, for one reason or another that those things feel good and that we notice when others are giving us attention, then we don't take the steps to guard our heart and protect ourselves from what that could develop into. And that's more concerning and dangerous. That when I'm working with affair situations or at our practice, we're seeing uh, infidelity come into the practice. Very often we will hear from folks that they, they didn't see it coming that they didn't set out to be unfaithful in the relationship. Uh, it's like a hole in the ground that they just fell into somehow and they don't know how they got here. And as we unpack it, what we discover is that rather than being able to acknowledge what it is that they were experiencing in terms of attraction towards another person or a enjoying and, and even then developing into pursuing the attention and affirmation of someone of the opposite sex, their inability to acknowledge that with themselves meant that they were, they didn't take steps to protect their heart around that. And so they allowed something to continue to grow inside them and continue to pursue that they really were turning a blind eye to because they, they weren't willing to acknowledge what it is they were experiencing or felt like it was bad or evil or sinful to acknowledge that they noticed that or felt that attraction or felt uh, good about that appreciation. And so they didn't guard against what that could develop into. They kept telling themselves that it was nothing and that it was benign until it grew to something that uh, clearly wasn't because it acted out in a way that was destructive for them and their relationship. And then they're in our office kind of processing, I don't know how we got here. So it's much healthier and better to recognize that as human beings, the quality traits that our spouse possesses that attracts us to them uh, are not solely held by our spouse. That other individuals have attractive quality traits that we find attractive and having the attention of the opposite sex feels good and is affirming to us as a person that we would be noticed, that we would be uh, found having some quality traits that others valued or thought were good. All of that feels good to us. And if we can acknowledge that to ourselves, when we feel that pull of attraction or we pull, feel that pull that we feel in response to others' affirmation uh, of those things in us, we can allow that to be a trigger for us uh, to put up boundaries in place that would help guard our heart from that. Uh, rather that be sharing that with our spouse, rather that would be inviting uh, a support or accountability person that's in our life into the know around that situation um, in order to uh, help have some accountability, limiting our time and, and certainly our individual time or our conversation or dialogue with that individual 
uh, as a means of guarding and protecting our heart and relationship. So thanks for your question, Matt. Thank you so much for submitting that question. We love to answer your questions. If you have a question for yourself or a friend, you can submit it using our webpage and then look for the answer in an upcoming edition of our weekly e-newsletter. Thank you.